Now your weather forecast with meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook. Well, today's been really dreary out there thanks to a lot of cloud cover saw today. A little bit on the cooler side, not too bad, but not as cold as it was this weekend. And on satellite radar, you still see a lot of clouds just covering over the state of Louisiana right now. And a lot of rainfall is sticking out from Oklahoma all the way down into the Gulf Coast. And we're seeing just one little batch of some showers that's moving off to the north. And so we'll see our rain chances begin to increase as we go through tonight. All thanks to a pretty active southwesterly pattern aloft in the atmosphere. You see the overall jet stream well, in the, well above the atmosphere is from that southwesterly direction, bringing them some more moisture across the area. And that's going to be pretty persistent for most of this week to aid in daily rain chances. But out the door right now, we're still on the dry side here in Baton Rouge, although we're losing daylight, still having some clouds out there. 60 degrees currently, but wind still a little bit breezy, around 50 miles per hour from the east southeast, with a gust still into that 20 mile per hour range, too. So as you go through tonight, Roughly into that 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock hour, rain should be on a doorstep or over the area by then. Just more some rain showers kind of rolling through the area into the overnight hours. And then become a little more isolated, scattered in nature as you go through the overnight hours and for your Tuesday morning. And then some model guidance is more on the drier side for your Tuesday. But here the HRR model showcasing some passing showers kind of rolling through the area throughout the day on and off again. Maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder, but nothing too widespread for your Tuesday. Not until we get to about Wednesday, we'll see widespread rain take shape over the Louisiana and begin to move east toward our area. All thanks to a frontal boundary that's going to begin to stall out a little bit over the area and likely produce a line of showers and some storms that may train over similar areas to bring a lot of persistent and heavy rainfall possible over some portions of our area. So that's where, where we have a, a level three moderate risk for some flash flooding possible in that red color for our more northwestern areas, a slight risk level two elsewhere. So we could see some flash flooding across the area with some heavy rainfall possible. More so, again, for those low-lying poor drainage areas and the urbanized areas as well will be more highly susceptible of, as to that as well. But we could see some pretty high rainfall totals. Now, in addition to, in addition to the heavy rainfall, we could see some isolated or strong to maybe some severe storms too. So we have a level one marginal risk over the area. That's more so for the chance for some damaging wind gusts with some of these stronger storms and maybe a quick spin of tornado as well for your Wednesday afternoon into the Wednesday evening time frame. Then we look at rainfall totals throughout the next seven days. On average across the area, about two or three is up to four to five inches across the area with most of that rainfall occurring on a Wednesday and Thursday, but we're not done quite yet. We'll have a chance for rain again on Friday and once again as you go to your Saturday, but tomorrow a chance for some passing showers to kind of roll through the area. We're much warmer out there with highs into the upper 60s and lower 70s out there, so much warmer, well above average too, and the winds will still be rather breezy tomorrow around a 15 to 20 mile per hour range with gusts up to 20 to 25 mile per hour, so it's going to be breezy out there. Have a chance for some some rain showers too. The heavier rainfall comes through our Wednesday into our Thursday. Some more rain lingering to our Friday and then we'll have a cold front to come through early Saturday morning to bring us more rain, some storms possibly. Look at that, we're much warmer too for most of the week too. Highs in the lower 70s, but we are cooling down and clearing out as we go toward next week as the rain moves out in here with temperatures falling back near average in the lower 60s for high temperatures by next week.